Make sure to check out our plans for our transforming A-frame getaway cab. And this one here only built for 700 bucks at RelaxShacks.com. What's up, Deke? RelaxShacks.com. We are here at Tiny House Summer Camp 5, Day 3, Slash 4. Looking like a bum. And here with me, you've seen him in other videos we've uh, done in the past. Chris. Looking like a bum as well. Yeah, no, you're looking a little cleaner than I am. You got the Indiana Jones hat, though, so it's giving you some shade to hide the vagrancy. Exactly. Um, you're here, you brought up your new project. We saw you last with a tumbleweed barn raiser tiny house that you really pimped out. It looked incredible. Yeah. And now you've outdone yourself yet again with this rather unique and fun Vardo that you brought here to the northern reaches of Vermont. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, this is just uh, something I put together for a show down in Tennessee. Um, spent six weeks on it. And um, it's built on a uh, five by eight utility trailer. Um, so 40 square feet of floor space, and I just wanted to sort of see what was possible. So this is kind of uh, my, my model home, if you will. Uh, could be for touring the country, uh, could be just as happy in somebody's backyard as a, a you know, backyard office. A little retreat, retreat. Yeah, office, yeah. Place for the kids to go. We're actually coincidentally building kind of, not a Vardo, but almost like a traveling yoga studio down the hill. You can see some of the people here, down the hill, here at Tiny House Summer Camp. Yeah. Uh, tell us about some of the facets of this. I see AC, I see the cool bubble yeah. window, you even got little uh, flower boxes, a, a spin on them. Let's head inside. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, I always try to like focus in on the details and try to make it look nice. Um, I went with uh, a twin XL mattress. Um, I can't build something that I'm personally not comfortable staying in, so that just like kind of defeats the purpose. But um, you know, in terms of headroom, I'm I'm a tall guy. Yeah, I'm you six are. foot three. Yeah. So there's plenty of that, and um, yeah, I just tried to make good use of the space, as invariably you have to when uh, when you're dealing with 40 square feet. But um, the bed flips up. There's tons of storage under there. You could fit a composting toilet if you wanted. Um, the house is designed to go off grid for, for certainly several days. Uh, it's got an enclosed water system. Uh, right now we're running the LED lights off of battery. Uh, we've got this highly technical area over here. We've got the little battery meter. Yeah. Um, some USB ports, charging port. I run a little 12 volt fridge off of that. And then, yeah, and then just, you know, hidden in the nooks and crannies. More have, storage. Yeah, you have so. some storage, you know, I wanted to raise that up a little bit, so. Yeah. And that's where your wheel well is hidden under there. Yep. As it is under your little built-in almost dresser or storage over here as well. Yeah, exactly. I like the copper accents yet again. You have them at the end of your rafter tails here too, which is pretty beautiful. Yeah, and the ubiquitous skateboard lamp. That's right. As seen in the last video. The copper Similar stuff, one. yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, this is a, this is a small sort of uh, pump sink, right? So you find these on boats. So that's how that works. Um, yeah, and I just, you know, just, just spend a little extra time on the table, put the copper on there. Yeah, the that is nice. Angles. That's live edge, but then the copper accent as well. I built this in six weeks by myself. Um, six weeks? I created this, like I said, as sort of a model home. Uh, what I would like to do, since everybody's needs uh, for something like this are specific, is you know I could build a shell for somebody for around five thousand yeah. dollars, and then um, finish it however you see fit. Right? Uh, people have asked me for uh, you know home recording studios. Um, as we sort of maybe mentioned before, uh, this could be a pool house. This could be yeah. uh, uh, the home office. Could be an anything. Airbnb rental. An Airbnb Cha -ching. rental. Yeah, exactly. If, so, um, so yeah. So this is just my take on it. Doesn't have to be everybody's take yeah. on it. If people want to reach you to perhaps hire you to to, uh, to build one, where where do they yeah, go? Tinyindustrial.com. Uh, check that out. Currently, I have the entire build process documented there as well, day one, day two, and so okay. on, uh, all 30 days. And um, yeah, maybe I, I'm thinking of turning that into maybe like a sort of uh, gypsy wagon building course or similar yeah. as well. 
Cool. Hey, thanks so much, Chris. Yeah, Once thank again, you. appreciate it. This thing's fantastic, much like your other house, also on our channel. Thank you. Get on deekrelaxshacks.com. Please subscribe, and we'll see you later.